Alright ladies and gents, let's jump right into getting this tutorial started. Um, what I'm going to be doing is making a head morph. So the first thing I'm going to do is just isolate the section that I want to work on. So I'm going to control shift click outside and drag inward. Let's try that again. There we go. So now I've got just the head that I want to be um, making a morph for. Next thing I want to do is get rid of parts of the body that I don't want moved around, like the eyes. And the teeth are in there, but forget about it. We don't care about that. Um, control shift click. One eye. You can, as long as you still have control and shift held down, you can just click again for the next eye. You also want to get rid of the eyebrow area. So try clicking it. All right, it's gone. And sometimes you have to click things once or twice or two or three times. If you mess up, just hit control shift click and click out here somewhere off the mesh. It'll pop everything back on. Let's try again. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, now that I've got that going, what I'm going to do is use some of my standard brushes, warp the face, move things around, and uh, get things started here. Now I'm not going to do anything too extravagant, but as you can see, I'm starting to move the mouth around here, and it's not moving on the other side. So what I'm going to do is click X, uh, bring this down a bit. Really thin lower lip. Because nothing says ugly like weird looking faces. Right? Alright. So, let's see. Nose bridge crushed in. You can do some pretty weird things with ZBrush. Check this out. Why would you want to do that? But, the point is you could do it. So if you bring this in after you're done with morphing it, and you bring it into like ZBrush or Daz, and it looks really bad, and you use ZBrush, it's most likely your fault. <laughs> so, uh... If you do something bad, hey, remember, you can always go back and try again. It's a great thing about ZBrush. Press that uh, Control Z works in this program too. So if you really mess up, go back to where you have everything fixed. Start over again. Okay, so well, let's just assume that we want the face to look like this the way that it does. We're going to do another couple of movements here. And again, I'm only using the Move tool. So, like I said, I don't expect this to look all spectacular here. Otherwise, I'd be using a lot more tools. Uh, what I'm going to do is just click and drag, uh, I guess, the middle of the forehead here. So you can get a weird effect like that. Uh, let's see. Up and drag. Let's try dragging off of here. Okay, so we've got this weird effect going on here. Um, once that's done, what I'm going to do is just export this front part of the head. So I'm going to shift click outside to bring everything back in. Let me just press control shift and then click the face here. And all I'm trying to do is make sure that I just have uh, just this head grouping here. And that's where I kept my morph. If, I, if my morph happened to go past this seam, then I would need to go and export the neck, head area, things like that as well, just to make sure that all the seams matched up and the morph continued along the mesh where it needed to, so it followed the correct topology, but it's fine the way it is. It's fine. So what we're gonna do shift control shift click outside again. Uh, we're gonna go over to the sub tools palette. And what I'm gonna do is once again hide just this face. So I'm going to control shift click again and it's going to ask me, well it's not going to ask anything, I'm just going to do it. Uh, you want this feature right here called split hidden so click that and that'll give you the face all by itself. You can turn off the body so it doesn't confuse you. Just click the little eyes. Again make sure you have just the head selected and scroll up. Okay what I'm going to do now is just export just this head. So I'm just going to click export, save it somewhere usually um, somewhere where you know where your stuff is saved. I'm going to save it on the desktop and just call it head. Alright, there it goes. Okay, at this point um, I want to go into this program right here, which is the one we're talking about. I wish I knew how to pronounce that, but I have no idea, so I'm not even going to try because I'm going to screw it up. Um, you want to go for the original object, which is exactly what it calls for. Dodger did a great idea 
great job already explaining how to set that program up so I don't think I need to explain that to anybody I mean if you're using it and you bought it then probably you understand the regular stuff so um, the original object would be Victoria 4 of course so just click that the morph target which I saved to my desktop and I just called it head and if you want you can stick the reference character in there um, sometimes, sometimes that's great so you know so on your next one when you look for your channels you can actually see um, a lot of the channels in the channel IDs that Victoria 4 already has in her but you know most of the time you don't need that um, so what morph channel do you want to put this in stick to one that's fine uh, what do you want to call the dial uh, I don't know we'll call her star star face once you're done typing something in here make sure you click enter okay so you've got your controllers here do I want to tie it to the body usually yes but this time since I only did it on the head I'm gonna click head that can be confusing for someone so if you're making uh, this for someone else like to sell they might want that morph tied into the head because people are expect to find it there but if it's just for the head and it's mine I'm putting it in the head because I'm not giving this morph away it's gonna go in the trash after I'm done because it <laughs> looks like garbage <laughs> okay so you've got simple and then these other options like down here where it says dad style that's something if you're selling it for dads yeah Dodgers right that's what they want um, I don't use this <laughs> so because he's right simple is what's recommended by him and it works it's great I don't need this stuff and you probably won't ever unless you're selling it to dads because they need that stuff it helps them keep their copyrights and all that good stuff in order um, let's see okay next question is also save a remove pose yes so you can check your progress make sure everything's set up correctly um, and it'll say at the bottom if it's ready to save so yes it is so we're gonna go to output again do I want to save a remove pose I do yeah so it's gonna ask me where do I want to save so I'm gonna go over to my poser runtime go to libraries pose and this would be wherever you save your stuff I have a test folder here where I save a lot of stuff so uh, what I'm going to do is call this thing I've already forgotten what I called it I think I called it starface so starface and then inj for injector and if you type the inj at the end um, it'll also do a remove pose for the same thing so it'll say starface rem to remove the pose it's a good idea that way um, if someone's looking for an, a remove and the inject pose it'll have the same um, prefix when they begin looking for it that way they won't be looking for INJ starface or REM starface it's a lot easier for everybody if they just starface and the names right there uh, go ahead and click save and you'll see it you'll see it clicking away down here if it runs into a problem you'll find out pretty soon sometimes that happens and it's not the program's fault this program's fault it's not Zbr ZBrush's fault it's usually um, the user screwed up me being the user today would mean that I screwed up but when it's done it'll pop up and let us know okay so we can see it went ahead and finished because we can see the little lines down here at the bottom. Uh, what we're going to do is go over into Poser and here's Vicky so I'm going to pop into mine scroll down, go into Test, which is where I saved it and there should be something here called Starface, there it is so I'm going to go ahead and inject this in make sure that you've got Victoria selected there uh, Starface Inject won't automatically be turned on of course sometimes yes, sometimes no um, go ahead and click one, see how it looks, and there she is. Ta da! <laughs> Wonderful world of getting stuff in. Uh, check your remove pose too, which should erase this right here. Boom, gone. Okay. That's about it.